Hey, everyone. I were in, I'm uh, Liam. I'm 27 from Newmark, Ontario, Canada. As a Canadian, similar with Greg, I always wonder about our Canadian economy and what you think about the Canadian economy. We got some beat down bank stocks right now, and I don't know what your opinions on uh, are on these. And I also wonder at in your 90s, if the rumors are true and you're still able to eat McDonald's, I like fast food myself, but I always wonder, at 93, he's still able to eat those and enjoy the Coca-Cola. Thanks, Warren. Okay, well, we've got a Canadian here, so we'll let him answer the first part. And, uh, and if, you, if, you, if you watch me, you'll see what I, got, what I like to eat. I mean, <laughs> well, go to it, Greg. Okay. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we are fortunate to have a number of operations up in Canada. It goes across many of our operating entities, and then, as Warren touched on, all the businesses that we have a piece of that we're invested in are, are up in Canada. So the presence is significant. We're, we're, we're always looking at making incremental investments there because it's, a, it's an environment we're very comfortable with. Warren touched on understanding the U.S. environment business environment, and, and I would put Canada equally in that bucket that we understand it and would be comfortable. And I, I would say the economy moves very closely to the, to the U.S., so the results we're seeing out of our various businesses that report both the U.S. and Canadian operations aren't, aren't drastically different. Um, and, and there's a few that we're on the energy side, for example, we make very substantial investments up there in, in Alberta. But again, it's very consistent with how that economy is growing, and I would see it being very consistent with what we see here. Warren, anything to... Yeah, no, we, we, we obviously, there aren't as many big companies up there as there are in the United States, but, but when we get a... I got one from Canada just the other day that I sent over to Greg, too, uh, yeah. that, that when, when we see anything that's suggesting an idea that's of a size that would interest here and meets other requirements. We don't have any hesitancy about uh, putting big money in, 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 in Canada. Just, uh, and there are things we actually can do fairly well where Canada could you know, benefit from, from Berkshire's participation. We did it some years ago, not that many years ago, but... but uh, there was a financial institution up there, and, and uh, uh, they had a problem. And as I remember, 30-plus you know, various other people that were kicking it around. And meanwhile, the place was getting close to the edge for not a fundamental problem. And uh, Ted Wessler from our office went up there. I heard about it on a Monday or something, and Ted Wessler went up there and we offered a solution in a couple of days to something that, that was getting close to the brink. So it, it, we do not feel uncomfortable in any way, shape, or form uh, putting our money into Canada. In fact, we're actually looking at one thing now. Uh, and, but, you know, they, they still have to meet our standards on in terms of what we get for our money. But they, but they don't have a, they don't have a mental... We don't have any mental blocks about that country. And, of course, there's a lot of countries we don't understand at all. So, so Canada, it, it's, it's terrific when you've got a, a major economy, not the size of the U.S., but a major economy that, that you absolutely you feel confident about operating there.